This video is 3 in 1 video. Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. My name is Ella Sutebo. If you're new here, feel free, feel relaxed, subscribe, like this video, comment, and share. For my OGs, thank you. You guys are suitable. You are amazing. You are fantastic. You are everything, everything. Eh? <laughs> we are here because of you guys, okay? To entertain you guys, okay? So, guys, into this video, we're going to start with Diwango, okay? Then we go over to Sean. Sean is best. He came out to really lash on her. Sean is best. Free really came out to expose everything that happened and if everything she have exposed about Sean is true, man, mm. most of the things I'm even sensing it. So the one go to need to be careful because if we should trace it to the one go trace it to even this mystery was one close to Sean. Anyway, we are going to watch that clip. Okay. Then we'll talk about Kino. You know, finally go back to his wife, his woman. Mm? Let's, <laughs> let's start with our baby girl, Diwango. So, guys, Diwango finally move on. Yes, Diwango is enjoying herself. This video she posted, she said, French Cove in Jamaica, my happiest place on earth. So, I don't know, is it the French Cove? In Jamaica, that is her happiest place on earth, or is just Jamaica generally? Because I'm going by her capture, French Park Coast in Jamaica, my happiest place. So, if she's referring to this place, this French Park Coast, it means that Trash Town, where she is or where she was before, is not her happiest mom or her happiest place. Okay, anyway, that's not the case, it's also among the case. <laughs> We have to tell you that Diwango is enjoying herself. Yes. Diwango is enjoying herself. This video she posted, she went with this this new girl. Mm -hmm. Because Diwango, before she want to, you know, she will always want to link up with a new person before she can leave an old person. You understand? You know, to keep the ministry going, to keep the content coming. So this new girl is the same girl that was in that showering video. From the shape, the size, the bum bum, I could recognize a little bit. So, the one was finally moving on, you know, despite her, her fans are asking her, the one, where did you live, fresh, uh, trash town? Hope all is well. Where is Kino? Why is Kino not showing up in your videos anymore? You know, what is happening? Why are you, why are you looking sad? Why are you looking mood? <laughs> Baby girl posted this video to tell us that you know what i am fine like i have moved on i am happy where i am you know it's not get to girl company it's not get and boy company calling it bestie and all that mm -hmm. so it is not girl girls trip girls talk girls girl together and all that so the one go is telling us that finally she has moved on okay <laughs> i want to say you know something about this um kino some kino fans why is it that kino fans you guys don't like the fact that some reactor or a reactor like me say something like the one will really help kino even in views you understand it is good that kino want to do his own thing it is good that kino want to be do his normal content because like i said if kino should do it like if Diwango is not shown in his video, he's not going to get views. It means that his channel would die slowly. And then again, why is it that Kino has stopped this this uh, prayer? Prayer that he normally does in his channel. Since that last one that the pastor made that prophecy and, you know, <laughs> it's assumed that the, the pastor was referring to Diwango. If you have not watched that video, let me know. I will drop the link. Hmm? So, since that last time, we have not seen this church program or this all night that Kino Pastor and the rest people always do on his channel. 
let me know why he stopped it or if he's still doing it and i'm not getting the education let me know okay so for me it's good to so go and move on it's good that kino is doing his own thing it's good that kino have gone back but why you guys don't like this part that i said the one who really helped kino how did kino get to fifty thousand subscribers it is the one go so you guys please take a cheap pee hmm? appreciate the one go for the good work the one go have done in the life of kino happy him the, you know kino is not a travel vlogger let's be sincere kino is just normal normal a uh, youtuber okay it is the one that is a travel vlogger that's why even when the one go came on camera and said oh kino is traveling with me kino fucked the one go up kino you know disappeared the one go he did not travel with her you understand so the one who said that maybe her intention is that Kino is going to travel with her. <laughs> when he gets to that, Kino is like, you know what? I'm not a travel vlogger, okay? I'm not interested. And it was even that video that Kino was saying, you are not my you are not my type. I like women that wear size 10. Or no, I don't like women that wear size 10 and below. From size 10 and above. It was that same video. So, you know, when you read minutes to all this, they don't have to come and show us on the screen that maybe something is going on. You just, when well, you see all these things, you just use your tongue and count your teeth. Okay? That is what everybody is doing. Okay? So, if Kelo has gone back to his woman or he don't want to show anymore in that vlog. Okay, some people also say that, you know, in one of the videos that they heard Kelo voice at the background. Yes, hearing Kelo voice at the background. Okay? You might be right it you know was at the background but not showing in any of the video or not distancing himself from the one go you understand there is something okay so it's also good it's going to help them and besides this is another woman man eh? i don't know some the one go fans they don't also like this this other part again that you know is another woman man some say he's not married some say no he's not married he does not have a wife. Does not. Did you see his girlfriend? <laughs> you guys don't know what is happening. <laughs> anyway, our sister, we are proud of her. She is happy and she has moved on. Okay, Kino too has moved. Of course, Kino <laughs> no string attached. Kino has already moved on a long time ago. Do his thing and all that. You understand? So Kino has finally gone back to his woman, and his woman has finally gone back to Kino now. They are not living happy life, like happy husband and wife or, or boyfriend and girlfriend or fiancé or whatever. <laughs> anyway, let me leave that part, okay? So that is it. Thank God for Kido. Thank God for Kido woman. Thank God for Diwango. And thank God for new Diwango friends she's hanging around with. Let's go to Sean. Hey, hey, guys. Fire on the mountain. Run, run, run. Let me just give you a hit. I've reacted about this short friend. You know, there was a time that she, uh, Sean threw her, like blast her. I came here and I react. But if you really want to know these two people, like, were they really friends? What really happened? Don't worry, my people. Just go on YouTube, go on social media, type her name and Sean name together. Yeah, you hear me? Like, type Narofe and Sean relationship. Or Narofe and Sean S best friend, or Narofe and Sean um, breakup. You will see, you will see a lot of it. Have you a lot of? Though I didn't really see more of Narofe coming out to you know understand, but hey, hey you understand. Hmm? From there, even a lot of it have you granted by Sean because of this other lady. You will know, you will understand more about Sean and all that. So I noticed that Sean views. <laughs> I'm not here to compare views, but she already know that her views is going to drop because she's no longer in Jamaica and she's doing everything possible, lying, clebating for the views to still be like what it used to be. But it doesn't work that way, okay? It doesn't work that way. And there's no how your views will always will start beating the one go. Maybe this is the reason why Sean, okay, has been lying and everything. Maybe for she to still get that view. No, no, no. Okay. Anyway, let's watch the video. What this lady explained. Then, 
after you watch this video you can go on social media or youtube to type what i asked you to type or ask me the comment section mm -hmm. so that is it see you guys let me play the video please like this video okay so for the longest time people will try to make some funny, funny comments blah 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 but now i feel like i'm so healed that even if i was to meet some of my ex-friends i wouldn't feel any i wouldn't feel i wouldn't feel triggered i wouldn't feel anything like i'm so healed for the longest time by the way before i healed anytime someone would mention some of the people that i fell off with and i don't know why people find, think it's um it's a big deal to fall out with people. It's not, it's okay to fall out and to meet new people. I, I'm happy for the people they have met and just like I have met new people in my life and now I have other friends, it's totally okay. I don't know why people think that now because you're friends with someone, you're, you're, you're brilliant. You can never stop being friends now because once upon a time you were friends. No, 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 no. It's totally okay to fall off and find new people who suit you in this new journey maybe i was not meant to be in their uh, next life journey just like they were not meant to be in mine so it's totally okay to fall off with people and i will not i will never feel ashamed for falling do i look so yellow it i will, I will brush off the powder, powder guys don't mind don't worry so it's totally okay to fall off and find new people and let's move on in this, do you know how many people you will meet by the time you, you die? You will meet thousands and thousands and thousands of people. And um, some will stay, some will not. So it's life, it happens. Life moves on. And uh, believe me, if there's... Where is, where is the camera right? I'm so happy by the fact that I'm no longer the bitter girl I used to be. Let me talk about this. I used to be... Okay. Naturally, I'm such a lover girl. And anybody who has experienced me knows this. I'm such a lover girl, and I'm, I don't just mean by relationship wise. I'm such a lover girl with even my friends. Sometimes, when I'm friends with someone, I think I'm, I'm such a rare person to meet. That's a fact, and I know it. And I mean serious. What you and you want to say, but maybe if I'm friends with you, I will go all the way for you. Like, I will try to really make you happy. And that's a weakness. It's not a good thing. I'm not saying it in a good way. It's such a weakness because it has really costed me a lot. And I think that's why some of my friendships didn't work out. And plus, I think over time, when you grow up, when, when you grow up, you start to see now these things and you can now track back to what is friendships uh, that you've been in. Since I'm such a love again, when I come into this friendship, guys, I will be... It, it will be you and me. I will, I will make sure you're happy. Anything that suits you, I will do it. Even if it's not, even if it's not working for me, I will do it for you. And that's the biggest mistake I ever, 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 ever made in my life because I will, uh, I will put my happiness away or needs away just to make my friends happy. If, if someone wants us to go somewhere, guys, even if I didn't have plans, and whether this used to be such a big issue even with my sister, because she would tell me, why are you doing these things to make these people happy? And at the end of the day, they, they can't do the same for you. Guys, if, if you ask me to come somewhere because... You, you feel like you're bored at home. Even if I didn't have plans, trust me, I will take that guy that will come. Like, I think I have been, over the years, I was the biggest people pleaser ever. The biggest people pleaser. And what happens now, this is where the problem comes in. After being a people pleaser for so long, now it gets to a point that now you want them to treat you the same way you've been treating them. So... And naturally, from the word go, they were never like that. So for them, which is totally understandable and it's their right, they cannot do these things for you. When you want them to come to meet you, they won't because it's always the new who's coming. So it gets now difficult and um, now issues start arising because now because they've done this, you feel like, oh, this person, oh, so it's always me who's doing this, so I will also not do we be, be doing this and this and when you stop now doing this for them they will feel like now oh, oh she has changed oh she's now a fake friend and things don't work out so when i learned to i learned to keep some love to myself i don't need if 
if something does not serve me, now I base my friendships on the word no. If something does not serve me, I'm sorry, but uh, it's a no. If uh, the things you're doing do not align by me, I do not have to do them to please you. And since I started loving myself a little bit more, I, I think I've been making very healthy friendships and I would advise someone who's really struggling with making friends, not really making friends with sustaining friendships, try and reserve some love for yourself. Do not prioritize your friends over yourself. And you will see a difference when you start doing this. For me, my life has really been different, honestly. And for anybody going through the same, I would try and withhold. Do not be a people pleaser to your friends. If they're your friends, you do not need to please them because they are your friends. So I want, nowadays, I'm just looking for low-maintenance friendships in the sense that I want friends that you do not need to talk daily. Me, I'm that kind of a guy. I do not need to talk to you daily. Can you just not, can you just give me some space? And especially when I'm going through things, I think the people around me now know this. Uh, when I'm when I'm working on something or when I'm stressed, just leave me alone. I need to be alone. I need to be alone. So I do not want friends who will take this as, oh, she posted me. No, I want friends who know that. Nerof is probably going through something. She will come around. Just give her time. Also, guys, uh, I've been let me talk about this. This is now one of my weaknesses. Uh, this one I know. This one I know, and it has costed me a lot. I do not communicate. Now, this is something I'm really working on. I do not communicate. As I told you guys, I love being alone. So when I'm going through something, or when someone, you know, I'm this kind of person. As I said, I've always been a people pleaser. So when friends will wrong me, what I will do is. I would, uh, I saw this TikTok of someone talking like this and point like, what's happening once I just spent someone doing makeup? Uh, I would always, uh, so since I want to please you, even when you do wrong, I won't tell you. So I will just record in my heart and be like, oh, okay, they did this, but it's okay. Then next time you do something else, I will go and put it in my heart. Again and again and again and again. Then one day I'll just look up and be like, you know what, I'm done. I won't take it anymore. But this person doesn't know they've done anything to me. So I will just disappear on you. And that's a very, very bad behavior. Instead of communicating, I will disappear. And I've been a pro at doing this. I've been a pro at doing this, which I'm working on. I will just disappear on you. You will never hear from me. Then you will forever wonder what happened, what happened. But it's because I was piling up. I never communicated. If I communicated from the work home, I could have maybe solved these issues before the event got to this point. But this person kept doing these things over and over because they didn't know there's anything that's ailing me, there's anything that they've done wrong. So I'm really working on communication. I've been really poor with communication in my friendships. But hopefully it will end soon. Like, not to end, I'm working on it. Like, I, I accept that's my weakness and I'm really working on it. But also, I also want, like, People who you do not need to do really. I'm going in with my... Have I even been telling you guys what I'm doing? So I went in with the powder I think I should do now. I'm, I'm on... Uh, I broke the powder by the way. It hurt me. I'm using my Laka powder. I broke this Calib. Then now I'm going in with my highlighter from the body shop. So it's... um. I shadow, but I use it as my highlighter because it's only a bunch of these military ones. And when I bought it, that lady told me, actually, most people prefer using this as their uh, highlighter. So, actually, let me use this lighter. So, yeah, it's okay to fall off. It's okay to meet new people. And it's okay to learn through the process. And if you ever work out again, it's still okay. Oh, Queenie. Queenie, what's the big deal? It's not a big deal. It's all. It's all. It's it's okay. So, I think that's it. Uh, I'm done doing my makeup. Let me now. The last thing is just my lipstick, and let me tap tap it again. Then I'll be good to go.